What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to load huge CSV files into pandas by chopping them up into chunks and loading them step by step. So let us get right into it. Alright, so one problem that you will encounter as a data scientist is that you have to process huge data sets maybe consisting of multiple gigabytes of data. So for example, you might have a CSV file that has 50 gigabytes of data and you only have 32 gigabytes of RAM because what Pandas does when it loads a CSV file and converts it into a data frame is essentially it parses it, it converts it and then it keeps it in the RAM so that we can work with it. So we have uh, the object data frame or data equals pandas.readcsv, we read the CSV file and then we have this data frame, we can apply operations, we can um, filter, we can query, we can do all sorts of things because this data frame is in the RAM. So whatever we do, is done in the RAM. We have the full data set in the RAM. However, as I said, if you have a data set that has 50 gigabytes of data, you cannot fit it as a whole into 32 gigabytes of RAM. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to split the data up into chunks so that we can actually load part of it and step-by-step -step process the full data set without needing to fill all of our RAM or to fill even more than our RAM has to basically get an exception because we cannot load the full data set into the RAM. So for this, obviously, we're going to need pandas. So I think if you're watching this video, you have pandas installed already. In case you don't have pandas, you just type pip install pandas, and then you go into your Python script and you type import pandas as pd. And now for this video, I have prepared a simple uh, data set, a simple CSV file called huge data set CSV. It's actually not that huge because it actually has, let me see, it has, I think, four gigabytes 4.23 gigabytes of data, so it's not a huge data set, but still, even if you have enough space in the RAM, you don't necessarily have to fill it up with a data set if you don't need to, right? So let me just show you right away what happens if I say now data frame equals pd.readcsv huge data set.csv. And by the way, you can use whatever data set you want. I just went on Google and typed um, big data set python csv or some or actually big data set csv kaggle or something and i then i just downloaded one data set you can pick whatever data set you want as long as it has a certain size right so in this case i just picked this data set and when i run this now you can see that nothing happens here so it's loading the data set and if i open up the task manager on windows right now and i go onto the performance tab you can see that my memory is increasing the whole time so i have 15.9 gigabytes of ram now it's occupying 12 and almost 13 in, in a couple of seconds here. And you can see that this is happening uh, in Python. So you can see Python is allocating a lot of memory and I'm soon gonna be out of memory if I let this continue. This is because I'm loading the data set. Pandas is loading the data set into RAM. And maybe I will have enough RAM for this one, maybe not. The point is it's not very intelligent to just load the full data set into the script here if we are limited in terms of resources. Now, if you have one terabyte of RAM, maybe it makes more sense to load the full data set. But in this case, it wouldn't make sense. So we need to process it step by step. And one way to do that is, of course, to limit yourself to a portion of the data set. So you don't load the full data set but you load only a part of the data set. So you can say, for example, data frame equals PD read CSV, um, huge data set CSV. And you can say that you want to just focus on the first 100 rows like that. And then I can print DF here. And you can see in this case, we get 100 rows immediately. We don't waste a lot of RAM. It, it's uh, done quite quickly here because we're only loading 100 entries. That's a pretty small data set we're loading into the RAM. And this happens almost, uh, almost instantaneously. Um, maybe you don't want to have the first 100 rows, but you want to have the first 100 rows after 500 rows. So you can say something like skip rows equals 500. You can print the data frame and then you get 100 rows, but not the first 100 rows, but the first 100 rows after 500 rows. So basically 501, 502 and so on up until 600. Um, that is one way to do it. But actually what we want to do is we want to load the full data set, but we want to load it step by step. So we want to process one part of the data set, get whatever we want to get out of the data set and then continue with the next part. And for this video, we're just going to, 
um, make up some arbitrary metric, nothing fancy, nothing intelligent here. I don't even know what this data is, to be honest, because the focus of this video is not the data. The focus of this video is how to work with pandas when we have huge data sets. So let's just go ahead now and say that this data frame, we're going to give it column names. We're going to call the columns here A, B, C, D, E, and I think we need F, G and H. So those are now going to be our features, we can just print the data frame. And you can see now we have these features. And let's say, if, I don't know, those are some numbers that uh, that are interesting. And for some reason, we want to take the E feature and divide it by the G feature to calculate a metric. This is what we do when we process this data set. So for example, in this case, this would be df dot e divided by df dot g and this would be our result that we want to save for whatever reason, right? So this is the data science work that we're doing. So we could have something like a metric, uh, metric results, this is our metric that we want to calculate, this is going to be an empty list, or actually we want to make this a series. So a panda series, which is based off an empty based on an empty list, the data type is going to be equal to float 64. And essentially, we're just going to go ahead and say metric results dot PD concat so concatenate um, metric results equals PD concatenate. Uh, and we're going to concatenate the metric results that we already have with um, DF E divided by DFG. So divided by the result uh, that divided by so this feature divided by this feature, the results, we're going to take them and combine them with the metric results. So in the end, we're going to have uh, the results. So we can actually print the metric results here. And you can see we get a length 100. And we have only the values that we calculated. So this here can now be done not not only with 100 elements, this can be done with a full data set step by step. So what we can do here is we can uh, do the following, we can say counter equals zero. Maybe let's do it up here. And then we're going to say for chunk in. And now we're going to say pandas dot read CSV, huge data set dot CSV. And now we're going to say chunk size equal. So how many elements do we want to read at once? In this case, we're going to say a 1000. We want to read a 1000 rows, and then the next 1000 rows, and so on and so forth. Of course, you can change that number if you want to. And then one chunk is going to be a 1000 rows off the data frame. And the next chunk is going to be a 1000 more rows of the data frame. So we don't have to load the full data set into the RAM, we always just load a 1000 elements of that data frame into the RAM. Um, and essentially, we're going to say now chunk dot columns or whatever we decided that they are. Um, and then we're going to take the chunk process whatever we want to do. In this case, we want to do metric results, PD concat metric results, chunk dot E divided by chunk dot G. And um, this would basically go on forever. So if I now run this here, we're not going to see anything. But essentially, it's now going through the individual chunks and processing everything. If we want to actually see a result, we can just go ahead and artificially break, we can say, okay, uh, if the counter is equal to 20, for example, we're going to break out of the loop, just so that we can see the progress. And after 20 chunks, so 20 times 1000 20,000, uh, we're going to get the actual metric results, we're going to get the actual um, Oh, I forgot, of course, a very important thing here, counter plus equals one. There you go. Uh, you're going to see that we have 20,000 uh, of these results here. And if we leave this running, uh, if we if we run this for long enough, we're going to process the full data frame without having to store it into the RAM. So this doesn't use a lot of RAM at all, we just need to save a 1000 rows into the RAM, and then we can process it, then we can uh, load the next 1000 rows, and then the, the thousand rows from before are no longer in the RAM. So we have these chunks here. And we don't have to load the full data set into the RAM. And this is how you process huge data sets in pandas in Python professionally by using chunks. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.